God's law. That's another thing brothers are not keeping. But you gotta understand, like, there's so many documents out there, it's so confusing. Okay, Everybody listen. Everybody wants to be the truth. Like, okay, listen good. Give me Psalms 119, and I think as a whole, like, I think it, it, everything is the truth, but y'all's disagreement, no. no. I know. I, I, listen good, bro. Listen good. You watching too much videos. Yes. Psalms 119, verse 142. Let's see what the truth is. Yes. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Come on. And thy laws is the truth. And thy what? And thy laws is the truth. So what's the truth? His laws. His laws are God's truth. Read it again. Psalms 119, verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. And thy laws is the truth. Now, I'm going to read a law for you. Now, if you've been watching all the camps, I'm going to show you some. Leviticus 21 5. It's a good, bro. Leviticus 21 and 5. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Thy shall not make boldness upon, upon thy hand. What that mean? Ball. Like Michael Jordan, like Mayweather. Uh, who are Tyrese? Go ahead. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. What that mean? You big clay, you shave your beard? Huh? You shave your beard? Yeah. I can see it, you shave your beard. Yeah. According to God, you are in error. And you gotta change that. You gotta keep God's laws. That's the only way we're gonna get salvation. If you what? You then again? Neither! Shall they shave off the corners of their beard? Like my man here, he shaved the beard, you shaved the beard. A lot of our men shave the beard. You know why? Because our women don't like the beard. That's the reason why a lot of y'all mothers do that. Y'all want the white man pretty boy look. Now if you look at all the camps, the brother, most of the brothers got beards on their face. You understand that, right? He young, he young. He, he his is coming in. You got no excuse, you older than me. You got no, that's that point in the finger. Look at him, see? But see that, bro? That's the way you thought. You can't do that. They shall not make baldness upon their heads. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. Neither shall we shave our beards. Now give me uh, another thing they teach. I ain't saying. You can't shave it. That's how you can't shave it. See how you cut it off? You can't do that. Like my beard, it doesn't grow all the way up here. Whatever. You can trim your bit, but you can't shave it off. You understand that? Meet again. They shall not make baldness upon their heads, neither shall they have shave off the corners of their beard, nor make any cutting in their flesh. That's talking about tattoos. Now give me uh, 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. I'm going to show you something. 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. And 4, matter of fact. I'm gonna show you basic commandments that brothers on YouTube are breaking. Now we love our brothers on YouTube. We love them. We don't yeah, hate them. None of that. You got brothers on YouTube that hate us. Say we hate this camp, we hate that group. That's all. I'm gonna show you that. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse three. Yeah. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. The head of every man is Christ. You got camps that don't believe in Christ. You understand? They're trying to say they reject Christ. The Most High going to kill them because the scripture says, he that, is, he that believeth not is condemned already. So he's dead done. They have no, they have to believe in Christ. If you don't believe, right, you got some brothers that don't believe in Christ. But he's our leader. He's our head. Three. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of woman is the man. You understand that? The head of the woman is the man. Go ahead. And the head of Christ is God. And Christ's head is God. Keep going. Every man praying or prophesying. What does it mean to prophesy? Teach. Teaching about Christ coming back. If you teach in America going to be destroyed, that's prophecy. But that is in the Bible. America is going to be destroyed. That's in the Bible. Now, if you're teaching, prophesying, go ahead. Having his head covered. What does that mean? If you're teaching, if a man is teaching with his head covered, go ahead. Dishonoreth his head. He going against Christ. He dishonors Christ. If right. you've seen brothers teaching with their head covered, yeah. they're dishonoring Christ. I know you've seen that on YouTube. Yeah, I've seen that, yeah. So this is what I was talking about, the understanding level. Some brothers don't have that understanding. We got it. We understand. Yo, that means you cannot have your head covered when you teach. Right. Go ahead. But every woman. Now, if a woman is teaching, 
Go ahead. That prayeth or prophesy with her head uncovered. Now you have women in the church, oh Lord Jesus, teaching with no head covering on. But don't y'all teach women are not supposed to teach? No, women can teach the children. Right, right. Teaching the uh, the older woman can teach the younger woman, right. but women are not supposed to teach men. Period. Right. right. Okay. Now, I, now I say this: you see an Israelite, you see an Israelite sister in the street. Yes. The first teacher of man when he's a child. You understand that? Right. Not when he's an old man. Be that again. I'm gonna show you, sister. Go. Be that again. Read verse three again. Verse three. But I would have you know that the head. Every man is Christ. The head of every man is Christ. Yahawashai, whatever name you want to call him. Christ is the head. Yahshua, right. Yeshua. You understand that? The head? And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of the woman is the man. Hold on. Read, a, read that part again. I'm going to show you again. Read it again. And the head of the. Nope. And the head of the man. Okay. Read again. Hold on, sis. Go ahead. But I would have you know. That the head of every man is Christ. Christ is the head of man. What does that mean? You see that? You know what that scripture means. You see that? You know what the scripture means. Read it again. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Meaning Christ is our leader. That's what that means. The head? And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is the man, meaning the man is your leader. Right. Your husband, he's your leader. Right. The head, hold on. And the head of Christ is God. And Christ's leader is the most high God. Right. It's order. But what happened in America during the 60s in the feminist movement, the roles have been changing. Now right. you have women in the head of position and man is on the bottom. Right. You understand that? But in repenting, all things are going to turn around again. You understand right. that? That means Christ going to have his order when he come back. Men going to have their order. Women going to have their order. How can you determine the sex of God? Exodus 15 and 3. The Bible answers all questions. Do you have Exodus 15 and 3? How can we determine? We believe in the Bible. The Bible, the Bible um, answers all questions. Read. Go ahead. Exodus chapter 15 and verse 3. Now, if you don't see this, sis, you got to open your mind. Read. The Lord is a man of war. What? The Lord is a man of war. Let me, ask, right. let me, let me ask the brothers. What that mean? What that mean? Read it again. The Lord is a man of war. What is, what is God's race? I mean, his sex by that verse. What is he? Bro. What, what is he? A man. What is he? You understand that? Now, bro, I know you're about to come with something. What, what, what is he? He's talking about God's of war, right? Meaning he's a man of war. What does that mean? Well, you know, of course, God fight the devil. You know, that's no, 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 no. That's, that's Christianity. The Bible don't teach that. What? Read that again. Of course God fights Satan. Mm. The no, Lord no. is a man of war. Now, you see what I'm saying? That word's we got to start teaching our that's people. A, that's a Greek word called... No, listen, you know, listen, um, listen. We got to start teaching our people. You understand that? Give me 1 Corinthians 11 again. It's going to tell you what sex, I should have kept reading the chapter. It's going to tell you, says, come on, I'm going to show you something. Okay, come on. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse three. Verse four, read verse again. Four. Go ahead. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. So if a man is teaching the Bible with his head covered, he dishonoreth his leader, which is Christ. Okay, now, hold, hold on. Go go ahead. Ahead. Hold on. But every woman that prayeth or prophesies. Now, if a woman is praying or teaching, she has to have her head covered. If she does not have her head covered, with her head uncovered, dishonoreth her head. So she dishonors man, her leader. Go ahead. For that is even all one as if she were shaven. If she does not, Paul was telling the men in Corinth, if the woman don't want to submit to the leadership, shave her head bald. That's what he was saying. Go ahead. For if the woman be not covered, let her also be shorn. Go ahead. But if it be a shame for a woman to be shorn or shaven, let her be covered. Let her be covered. Come on. For a man indeed ought not to be covered. Hey, sis, head. sis. Listen good, listen good. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head. A man is not supposed to cover his head. Why? For as much as he is the image, 
and glory of God. God, man is made in God's image. That's right. No, no it ain't. Read on. But the woman, but it, the woman is the glory, is the glory of the man. Of who? Of the man. Of who? Of the man. The man, the woman is in the glory of man. You understand that? Go ahead. For the man is not of the woman. Man is not of the woman. Go ahead. But the woman is of the man. Go ahead. Neither was the man created for the woman. Neither was man created for woman. Like you got Keith Sweat, you got Usher, you got Jeannie Wine that make songs glorifying the woman. Being actually to be created to them. So you said that, Go ahead. You said but the woman for the man. But woman was created for the men. What are you saying? Woman was created for the men, brother. You said that the woman was created by God? Who? Oh? You just said the woman was created by God? No, I'm not. You got spirit on you, bro. You got spirit on you. God is saying, men was never created for women. No, in the first part, you read about, when she asked you about if God even created a woman. No, she said, woman is made in God's image. Exactly. No, woman is made in man's image. There's no equal. No, 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 no. Read again. Neither was the woman. Get Genesis. Read again. It says, but on paper, he's in God for a man indeed or to cover his that's, head. That's madness. That's Christianity. For as much as he is the image and glory of God. So what does that mean? Man was created in whose image? Do you think this is the Bible Christianity too? No. Christianity is an interpretation of the Bible. Uh, hold, give me Jeremiah uh, 14 and 2. Real quick. According to the Bible, Blacks, Latinos, Native Americans are the Israelites. Right. They are the real Jews. No, 12 tribe. Jeremiah 14 2. Read on. Read real quick. Jeremiah 14 2. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Judah mourners. The tribe of Judah are the American blacks today. Judah. Read. And the gates thereof language. They are black. What Mr. color are the Jews? They are black. What color are the Jews? They are black. The Bible says that Jews are black. Christianity teaches the Jews are white. Right. Christianity teaches that Jesus is a so-called white man. That's right. not in the Bible. This is not in the Bible. Right. Christ is black according to the Bible. Right. Right. You understand that? Is it, is it a male or female? Brother, oh, what is not a male or female? What? It's a spirit. Psalms says the, the, uh, the Lord is my shepherd. You understand that? But this, read that again. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Judah morning. Christ was a Jew. And the gates thereof language. They are black unto the ground. But the Bible tell us that the Jews are black, brother. The Bible say the Jews are black. All the, oh, all the tribes in the black. You understand that? Right, they say Jesus had hair of wool. Christ had the hair of wool. So you sisters, y'all gotta understand that man is your head. Look, we know that we're black. No, I said man is your leader. That's what I'm trying we to say. We know that. You understand that? Oh. All right. Give me 1 Timothy 4 and 13. Now I want to hear a call for the truth. I'm not reading that, bro. Why not? Quick. Because you know I'm going with that. Bro, read the flyer. You know where I'm going with that. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 13. For Adam was first born, then Eve. Adam was created first. Then Eve was created. Go ahead. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived. Woman was deceived by the devil. Go ahead. Was in the transgression. So Adam was created first. Men, that's why the headship comes to the men first. Because Adam was created first, then Eve was. Give me verse 11. Verse 11. Let the woman. Learn in silence. When the Bible's being taught, women have to shut down. Be quiet. Go ahead. With all subjection. Because a lot of our women today loud. Loud. They can speak loud. They louder than the men now. In their face, calling them a nigga. That's true. That's true. Calling them he ain't this. He ain't S-H-I-T. That's what a lot of our women say today about the men. That's true. Black men have been emasculated today. They've been raised effeminate. That's why you got a lot of homosexual men out here. Because, because, give me Isaiah 3 and 12, because our women have been raising our kids single parents. No father in the house. Right. That's why you got a lot of evil. Slavery, the white man insulting the black man in the of the black woman. That's true. That's the Willie Lynch slavery. Yes. That's exactly what happened. Yes. But you as a sister, you're supposed to break the chain.
name for the sisters. Oh, I have. No. You sure? Not yet. Not from All right, exactly. You better do that. All right, hey. The book of Isaiah, chapter 3, verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors. Children are their oppressors. They in the gangs. They in the, uh, the, the bloods and prints. Come on. And women rule over them. So what is this saying? That our women are ruling our boys. Because they were deceived first. Exactly. Because the man is not in the house no more. Okay, I'm gonna give you a law. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. The man is supposed to be in charge. You can't put me in charge. Come on. The man is supposed to be in charge. Deuteronomy 22 verse 5. Read. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. Listen good. Listen good. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What that mean? Read it again. The woman shall not wear which pertaineth unto a man. What does that mean? It means that you got those um, Hold on. Hold on. Let her, let her answer. All right. She don't know. Go ahead. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. She's not supposed to wear clothes that belong to men, meaning pants. What if she have a jeans? What if she have a job and she Hold on. Yes. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall men put on women's clothes. Like you got a lot of men wearing skirts, wearing dresses, being homosexual, you understand? Effeminate. God says no. Homosexuality is a sin. Lesbianism is a sin. You understand that? Read that again. So why would you know, you know, Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So that's talking about pants. The way our women dress today is out of order. Our women wear mini skirts, short dresses, cleavage all out. Our women dress out of order. The men are dressing out of what they pants pull on their behind. Everything is out of order. But the Israelites in the last days, we in order. We gonna be in order. You understand that? For many years, brothers and sisters have inquired of us about the haters of Israel United in Christ. I explained to Deacon Asaph, who's one of the best rappers in the world, believe it, that we needed a video. So I gave him my concept, the uh, message I wanted to convey to the people. Um, I had many producers on standby. We also have one of the best video production artists named Bezalel. He's like the incredible hulk of all videos. To mold the video around the music that Deacon Asaph will come with and make it happen. How many times must we check these fools, correct these fools, dissect these fools? They still run in their mouth, that's why nobody don't respect these fools. I heard the song, I loved it, and they made it happen. I wanted to deal with the scoffers first, because there are many haters against the Bible, against God, against Israel, not against Christ. And I want all you at home, brothers and sisters, to understand that the primary focus of Israel United in Christ is to teach you your nationality, the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God. Towards the end of the video, I want all the viewers to understand that we are building a nation of kings and priests according to the scriptures, and we will not be deterred by anyone.